fudge too. What the hell was that? Oh, I'm sorry. You petty thief. You're all the same. I don't know what was there. I don't want to know. Oh. Run! What the? How's it going everyone? My name is Nori Plays and welcome once again to the Hail World Loophole. The game where you keep on looping and traveling back in time whenever you fail. Great, and always discovering something new. This one, let's go to the patient hall because that is what we've just unlocked from the previous episode. If you haven't checked it, please check out the series. It's pretty good. But yeah, we're here. We're here. I don't know what's going on in here. Okay, that's locked. I'm not going in there. Oh, I can hear so. Is that statue talking to me? Hello? What's up, buddy? Wait, what? Oh, there's something behind that wall. What does that say? Schwester Helen. And this says Schwester Astrid. There's two dudes in it? Oh my god. I have to sneak past that? She's so fast. What's this? Room key. And Helen's room key. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so we made it to... To where? This is Helen's room. Might be of note. Looks like her schedule. It's pretty busy, but she's got a break today at 10 p.m. The clock shows about 10 p.m. That checks out. Okay, let's go to Astrid's. And die, probably, because he's in here. Okay, no, Astrid is not in here. Thank God. Oh my god, I'm hearing... Is, is that the patients? I'm hearing the patients right now. Uh, okay, so do I die if she grabs me? Let's... Turquoise keycard? What the... Oh my god. Hello? Oh, okay. A turquoise keycard again? What is in here? Poopers! Of course, the patients need to take a fat walloping shot. Um, so break time. Oh, 5 p.m. That can't be right, it's already dark out. Although I could turn the hands a bit. This is not a good time. Come back when my shift is over. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And once that hand hits 10 as well, it should be 10. Oh wait, no, it has to hit 12, right? That's how clocks work. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And three, a two, a one. There we go. Guess this means it's break time. She could really use one. <laughs> Hi. Good lord, there is so much work to do lately. Apparently Astrid doesn't deem it necessary to show up to work anymore. And I am struggling my ass off trying to keep up with all the patients. Feels like I am the only one doing any proper work at this point. Have you seen what happened to the others? They've lost their minds, I'm telling you. Oh, and I also need two special medications for my patients. But I've got absolutely no time to go and fetch them. Do you think you could? Yes, my dear, I know you're technically not qualified, but... I really don't care at this point. Here, take my master keycard and go get them. Turquoise key card. Take. Thank you very much, dear. Meet me back here once you've got the meds. In the meantime, I should probably get back to work. Well, oh, damn. Talk about sweatshop doc doctor nurse. Darkness engulfs you. You can hear faint creaking of brittle wooden beams in the distance. Why would they store medicine in this place? Oh, no. Is there someone or something in here? Oh, hell nah. Just the way this looks is super unsettling. The old ward. Everything about this rings every negative bell in my brain cell. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go into the darkness. There's nothing here, totally. Yeah. Whoop. 
That's locked. Oh man, it's like sounds okay. There it is. Is that it? Take a few matches. Oh, I don't like that. Why do I need matches? The lights are gonna go out. The lights are friggin' gonna go out. This could be interesting. It's to know a light this. Oh, my heebies and jeebies. <sighs> Am I safe near the light? I see one there as well. Hold on. Light that one. Eh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh... Something tells me one wrong turn and I'm dead. I hear stuff, but I can't see stuff. Uh. Okay, so it wants me... I can't even go back, like, properly. Oh. Don't want to go in there. These doors look different from the others. Okay. Oh, I can't go in here. <laughs> what? What am I hearing? That was your last match? Oh, did I need to be careful with my matches here? <laughs> Bloody bastard. <laughs> Oh, why did I do that to myself? Can I? Oh, oh, we are. So, oh, I should try to find some more matches. Where though? Awesome. No more matches. So, does that mean I have to go to the other door? And come back here? Possibly. Possibly. Let's do that. Oh. She keeps- she scared the crap out of me because she's so fast. Okay, so there was another tur turquoise area here. Let's go in there. Instead. Finally some more fresh air. You could have sworn that typical hospital smell has gotten worse over time. Although this yard houses another unpleasant smell. Just faintly, but it is noticeable. Oh, I hope it's not like a fleshy smell. This looks like the courtyard. The trash yard. This is where they dump the bodies. Surely. Oh, this... Yeah, this does have that courtyard feeling. But not really. Oh my good lord. Plastic mole. Bio mole. Mole verondongong. I'm so sorry. Rest glass. <laughs> I'm so bad. Isn't this where the trash guy should be? Because, you know, he loves trash. I don't know what he's called. Oh, that's locked. What's with the music? <laughs> I'm not very fond of this music at the moment. Are those handprints? You know what? Those are not handprints. <laughs> this is giving Outlast vibes. Like mental asylum type vibes. I think we need to climb up there using something. Don't know what that something is yet. So we can over either go in here, which looks more decrepit. Or we can go in here. Or we can't go in there. A guide on how to dispose of trash. Green is bio waste. Yellow is plastic waste. Black or brown is for glass. What's the white one? Yeah, green is bio waste. Yellow plastic. And black or brown is for glass. 
It's a green bio, yellow plastic, black for glass. Because it says glass, rest glass. Okay. Uh, we have to go in here, don't we? No. Where do we go? Here? That's yellow. Okay, I don't think we can go to this area yet, then. Because we have nothing to do here. As far as I'm aware. Because all the areas with the bins are locked. So we can't go anywhere. Let's go back. Let's go back. Maybe we can find some more matches. Oh. Oh, I get it. Aha. More matches. Would you look at that? It's pretty dark there, though. Okay, well, let's light this one. Let's light this one. Uh, yeah, light that one. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. There's a lamp right here. Lighting my way. That's locked. I can't go on. Uh. Study hall. It took. It took the meds. What it? That thing with the arm. Okay, so the study hall key. We have it. The study hall should be. Oh my. What is this thing? Here. Here? Here. Oh. Oh my god. I, I'm tense in my... Yeah, give me that. I'm getting out of here. I don't know why he's speaking. We have the meds, right? Uh, I have one of two meds. Hey, lady. Okay. Okay, so what about this trash area? This trash area is gonna be interesting because I... We don't have anything. We have the key, though, to a study? To some sort of study. Oh, I didn't see this door. <laughs> what is in here? Okay. Wait, this guy. Hungry trash collector, oh, it's you again. Don't mind me, I'm just having a good meal right now. How about you? You're looking for medicine? My, what a coincidence. They are doing some construction work on a storage area right now. And it's really easy to get in via the scaffolding. If you can actually reach said scaffolding, that is. I might be able to help you out though. For a price, of course. Hey, I knew you couldn't resist. So apparently they're dumping some super crinkly packaging around here lately. Not exactly nutritious, but sometimes you gotta appreciate a tree like that. Get me some of that and we'll be on our way. Oh, and you need this key to open those green doors. That's where they keep the good stuff. Thanks, bro. He's yellow, right? I wonder if that's what that means. Yellow was plastic. A plastic dude we take from a yellow bin? Nope. Not from a green bin. I hope he's not... He said, like, crinkly stuff... ...as well. Crinkles you usually get on, like... ...plastic, I'd say. It wouldn't really be anything else. So it's this one. Take from the yellow bin. 
Okay, here we go. Let's go back to him. Let's give him some plastic to munch on. I hope he doesn't get angry and just eat me instead, but... Here, here it is, the gamble. Oh yeah, this is it. Scrumptious, absolutely fantastic. Alright, let's go, right this way. <laughs> let's go, I was right. So, it's based on their skin color, I guess. And then there's gonna be another one inside, I bet. There's gonna be several of them. How have you been, anyway? Have you met Chef Sour yet? You understand why I prefer no not eating a so-called soup now? Yeah! Yeah! Flesh soup! Not exactly the best of foods, so I guess trash would be better than eating flesh. I've been hearing very strange noise around here lately. Like, the store is screaming and weeping. Sounds absolutely horrible. Have you heard those too? Hmm, maybe I'm just going mad after all. Wouldn't surprise me at this point. Oh. Oh, he's giving me a lift! Yo, that's pretty cool. Good luck. See you around. Yeah, see you around, buddy. Those guys have been the nicest so far. Climb inside. What is in here? Huh. That's... Wait, a medicine? That's it, then. We've got both medicine. I didn't know it was that easy. I thought I was gonna need to do more stuff. Climb down. Easy clap. Now we just go back, give her the medicine, right? It's that easy? Hey, she's walking around now. Oh, this is fantastic. Thank you so much, darling. These will come in very handy. Now, I think we both need a little break. Come join me in the park. Take a little breather. Guys, Riz? Positive Riz? You have been a great help to Helen, so she decides it is time for both of you to take a break. She unlocks the door to the park and you follow her outside. Ah! Nice breath of fresh air. Cannot wait. What is it? Oh, oh, oh. The Hail Wall Park, yo. Do I get to leave this place? Anytime soon. So, uh, can I talk to you whilst we're walking or what? Or are you gonna be trying to kill me right about now? I guess we'll find out. She looks friendly though. Jesus, whatever. It's been raining like this for days, with no end in sight. It's kind of soothing though, don't you think? Have you seen that massive bulky building over there? That's the new dental facility commissioned by Dr. Randolph. Looks more like a giant torture chamber to me though. I mean, it doesn't even have windows. They really made this look as uninviting as possible. So I get to just walk around? Cool! I guess I just get to... Take a stroll. What? I saw something move. I saw something move in the bushes. Hell to the now, bruh. That, that's the statue of Frederick. That's what I was trying to say last episode. The first founder guy is Fre Frederick. Okay. What is happening? Wait, I can get a boost again. Up here. Interesting. Why would I leave the area again? <laughs> Are we entering Randolph's place? The expansive concrete monstrosity that is the new dental facility towers above you. You're not sure if this is a good idea, but you do not see any other way. So you step inside. Great idea. Oh my god. 
a dental facility. Where Dr. Randolph is here to play. I can't wait. Yep, there's the statue of him. Well, at least I can leave. If I ever run into him. Do you have an appointment? You think you don't, huh? Well, let me check. Ah, looks like you do have an appointment right about now. Isn't that curious? Yes, it was issued by Dr. Randolph himself. A quick dental examination, evaluation, and reparation. Please have a seat in the waiting room. Nurse Sabine will be right with you. Uh, where's the waiting room? Oh. Oh, this is the waiting room. Okay. She's coming, isn't she? Oh, hell no. Look at her! It's another one of the... <gasps> you may call me Sabine. You're here for your dental examination, evaluation, and reparation, I presume. As issued by Dr. Randall? Of course you are. And I've kept you waiting for long enough, so let's get going. The sound that's coming out of her... She looks like she wants to saw my entire gum line out of my mouth. Oh. Ah, uh, don't mind that. We're still working or something. Oh! Hey, you shouldn't have come here if you don't want this appointment. Let's go. She terrifies me. She freaking terrifies me. But of course it's for misery bearment of our patients. I cannot read properly. That's a portrait of him. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna be running from her. I'm gonna be running and running and running. Huh. Here we are. Please have a seat. We'll start the procedure. Okay. Yeah. I'll have a seat. Marvelous. So as you might already know, we will begin by examining your dental condition. Actually, it's more like a cardio thing for your teeth and a jaw. And jaw. After all, strong pearly whites are perma- Some- Oh my- Can I leave? While she's doing that. Can I leave? Or- When- not... What does she grab? It fits like a glove. Any discomfort? Of course not. <laughs> right, so this thing will basically apply a lot of pressure to your jaw and, ter and in turn teeth. Did you know that the jaw houses the strongest muscle in the entire body? Amazing, isn't it? And surprising as well. You should have no problem resisting this thing. Alright, one more thing. Here we go. We'll start with 30 pounds of pressure. That's 200 to 20... 224 pounds of pressure. You're holding up well, but can you take four... You hold... 600! You're just testing how much pounds I can take. 800. Yeah, we're, do we're dead. We're dead. Good, you made it. Oh my. We did make a bit of a mess there, didn't we? <laughs> but that's alright. Next up is the reparation procedure. I was told Dr. Randolph would see to that personally, so have a nice day. Dr. Randolph will be here soon. Yeah, fuck that. Get out- get off your chair right now. You're probably in too much pain to even do- Just a 
Can you tell me what the hell just happened there? And so, down he goes. For one last time. Down the loophole. He goes down the loophole now. Wait, is this- is that it? Did we do it? Did we complete the game? There he is! So yeah, my theory is that that ominous voice is Frederick, the guy that previously owned the place prior to Randolph and all these people working there. He was like the head of the place. But now it's, it was Randolph, right? Yeah, we did it. Oh, sick. What a cool little game. It's not, we could have probably beaten it a lot quicker if I wasn't so confused at some of the puzzles but fun ass game created by one guy by the way one guy and the one QA tester wow oh I see and a bunch of other people I'm assuming his friends helped out oh cool look at that Thank you for playing. What a nice little game, dude. Indie games are now, like, something I always find myself playing. Like, recently. Like, all the AAA games and stuff have just flopped to me. They're so dead right now. Indie games are so much better. Okay, so... We beat it in an hour and furry. Not bad. 15 loopholes used. Uh, we got every patient encounter, both birthdays celebrated, trash collector's forts won, trash collector alive, yes, you can kill the trash collector? However, we are missing four items of knowledge, and I'm not sure how I'm missing those, I'm assuming there's other collectible items hidden within the game. Uh. We did miss dying to the electric chair. We missed a lot of deaths uh, throughout this playthrough. And I kind of missed that because I... I wish that we did experience like kind of all those deaths because that's kind of like the whole point of the game. Is to experience all of this. But that was a fun ass game, you know? That was just a great time. So that was the Hayward loophole. I loved it. I'm going to rate it a solid 8 out of 10. The only things that were not going for it were maybe some of the times I was confused because it felt like the game was glitched. But in reality, I've already done the loop. So it, you just kind of go through it again for the sake of going through it again. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the series, make sure to smash like button, comment down below with your thoughts. 
and subscribe if you are new. But apart from that, I'll see all of you amazing people in the next one. Peace out.